Hi everyone, I want to welcome you back to In My Seams. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So I'm going to show you all of the great things that I bought from Korea, Japan, and Hong Kong. I went on an Asia trip recently with my sisters after I graduated college and I purchased quite a few things. Actually, I bought the lens that I'm using right now on the trip. At the end of this video, I will be showing you the things that I will be giving away. When I hit 25,000 subscribers, we're like 500 subscribers away from 25K. So make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. We do nail vlogs, bra videos, hauls, makeup tutorials, fashion videos, and if you want to see my haul, then please keep watching. I went into 3CE and um, I just got this makeup pouch that's got like three accordion style, three compartments. Um, but in here, I did actually want to feature the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. So I've talked a lot about this on my Instagram, maybe a little too much, but uh, it's because number one, it's created by one of my favorite bloggers um, slash YouTubers, Mariana Hewitt. Number two, it's an amazing product. Convenient moisturizing mask is like the three biggest words I can describe this mask to be this product went with me everywhere during the airports I wore this every single night it kind of feels like a spa treatment in 10 minutes influencers get sent tons and tons of PR products they're like the first to try tons of different types of makeup skincare it makes sense that a blogger would create a product based off of all of her or his understanding and knowledge of the makeup slash skincare industry it just makes a lot of sense to me so um, if you do want to try it I will leave a link down below with all the other items that I will be featuring today. I got a little hand mirror. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute, but who uses a hand mirror anymore? I mean, I think it's really inconvenient putting your contacts in, like you could never do that with a hand mirror. I got it, I'll figure out a way to like make it cute. So next I went to Grand Hand, and if you haven't heard of Grand Hand, it's a Korean company. It's really hard to describe fragrances over a camera, but if I can say anything about these two fragrances is that they're incredibly florally clean. They smell like you just took a shower kind of, if that makes sense. Um, especially Lily Owen, that's the one I'd recommend. Uh, Sweeping Peony and Lily Owen. Uh, and I got In My Seams and My Name um, just stamped on here because you can do that when you go to the store. Again, I will leave an address and links, hopefully, and every everything you need to know will be down in the description. Pretty much, I bought everything in this bag to set on my table, uh, which, by the way, was gifted to me from a church member. I'll do, like, a table tour. How cute would that be? Okay, next thing is from Bershka. Bershka is one of my favorite, favorite clothing brands. I'm pretty sure Bershka is under Inditex, which is the parent company of Zara. So got this little bandana, like not bag. Um, just thought it'd be cute for like my Bible bag or something. I don't know. I've been really into red these days. Got a little tie detail right here. So pretty much the rest of the items that I purchased are all makeup stuff, so get ready for makeup. If you're not into that, then just click to the end of this video to see what I'm giving away. So this is part of the Mason Kitsune and 3CE collab. Um, I realize now that like when you travel with makeup palettes, I took the Car Carly Bible Deluxe palette, like the second one, and it was just a little bit bulky. I mean, I really don't know why I brought that. I have like so many other palettes. From now on, I'm gonna carry like little things like this, and the packaging kills me, it's so cute. So I have a friend in Korea who auditioned for K-pop star. Her name is Emily, and she actually watches my YouTube videos, so shout out to Emily. She recommended me pretty much most of the next products that you're gonna see in a little bit. This is a contouring palette, or contour, Compact? What do you call this? So it's by Art Class by Rodin. Too cool for school. I was really drawn to the tones in here. So they've got a lot of gray undertones, which is what you typically should look for when you are contouring. The next thing is another recommendation from Emily, but I know that tons and tons of Korean girls are girls and guys are wearing this guy here. So this is by Para Para. You know what? I should probably read it in the Korean accent. Peri Pera. Um, it's called Ink To A Eoli. What? It's Pink Para Ink Airy Velvet. That's like what the product is called. And this is in the shade number eight, Glimpse Brick Brown. I don't even know. It looks like serum, pretty much. This velvety, matte, creamy 
I'm really bad at describing this. I'm sure there's like tons of other like reviews about this kind of stuff. Oh, another one from 3CE. So velvet has been like, velvet lips have been like a really big trend in Korea recently, but I wanted to get one in red um, because I really wanted to do that like ombre gradation gradient kind of like lip look. So by the way, I got most of those products from Olive Young. So what I'm really excited for is this face halo, um, which was started by Chloe Morello, I'm pretty sure. Okay, oh, that is Chloe Morello. So the next couple of products I did get during duty free. I got this Kiehl's Herbal Extract Toner and it's for normal to oily skin type. I just got a toner because I didn't have one and it's been working really well. So not much to say about that. Products, this is the Avocado Eye Treatment from Kiehl's as well. I love this stuff. Super creamy. Katie from Luster Lux uses this and swears by it. Shu Yumura? Shu Umura? Who knows? Um, but I got the light bulb foundation and I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I got this because they don't sell Shu Yumura at in the States anymore. So I did purchase this because um, I've heard number one great things about it. Asian companies do really great products for Asian skin types. So that's the reason I got it because I thought, you know, why not try a full coverage foundation? And I, I really like it so far, I really do. And then I got a sample size of the um, skin purifier, a makeup remover pretty much. Then um, Emily gave me this Bia Last Auto Gel Liner. Um, I don't really use pencil, but she swore by this, so she gave me one to try. It's brand new and it's black and you just kind of like roll it up pretty like similar to the Marc Jacobs Highliner, Marc Beauty Highliner. I got two Dior products. I got one of the Lip Glow um, Color Reviver Balm. I love how glossy and balmy it is all at the same time, so it's a perfect mix of a balm and gloss and stickiness. It's got like all three of those combined. Like you'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you have this product. And then the last item is this gloss that I got. I got quite a few lip products which I feel like Korea is really known for, the Dior Addict Lacquer Plump. Um, so it's pretty much a gloss, and um, the shade is in 426, um, lovely D. When I was at the Dior counter, I tried this out and I loved the finish of it. Um, again, it's got like kind of like that sticky but hydrating lip. So those are all the items that I got. I mean, I got samples of face masks and things like that, but I don't think that's worth showing. And now to show you guys the two watches that I will be giving away to two different subscribers when I hit 25,000 subscribers. So um, they're both from NBMT and I have been working with NBMT for almost a year now. Not only is the product great, their innovation to think of new products and at a really affordable price point is amazing, um, but the customer service is incredible. I love companies, especially online companies that don't have like a store. Customer service is really important as you guys all know. I really want you guys to experience what I experienced, being able to um, get free product. So I will be giving two watches to two separate winners. Um, the first one is the Laurel Marble. And then the second one, I don't remember the name. Oh my gosh. Um, it's very different from each other, but it's both marble, very my aesthetic. So I thought um, you guys would really like it. The Laurel Marble you've seen all over my Instagram. And I know that there's somebody out there that will love this watch. Um, so if you guys want to enter, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram, it's in my seams, um, and then comment down below and let me know, number one, which watch you would like, number two, what your Instagram handle is so that I can DM you, and number three, um, maybe tell me, uh, give me a video request. That would be three things that I would love for you guys to do. Um, so thank you again for watching this video and uh, just being amazing. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys all soon. Bye.